What a privilege and pleasure it has been to interview these coaches and former NFL football players to put together the His Print American Football Relationship Series. I think you'll enjoy listening and hearing their hearts as they share about their family, about their coaching and playing philosophy, as well as the importance of having fun. Take care. We're sorry and saddened that we can't be there this summer. But know that you're not far from our minds. You're close to our hearts and always in our prayers. We thank you guys and miss you very much. Take care. God bless. Dream. Move into the Balkans. <laughs> Mentor, as far as coaching and learning how to coach and really what? Truly to be a coach, I got from Alan Waddell. Uh, and uh, he, I guess, you know, if you've got one person to think, to look back on, who, who guided you in your directions. And, he, you know, he not only got him in my football direction, he's, he was a very, he, he coached very strong, but he had a lot of Christian uh, values in, inserted in our program. And I opened up the Dawson High School job. And, uh, you know, this, because of the, you know, being here at Dawson from the start and opening and uh, helping formulate the, the the culture and the climate of the school right from the beginning. Uh, you know, this all it's great to be here. It's exciting to sit there and even though I can't see a lot of the folks across the pond, it's great to know that the game of football and sport can be such an opportunity to, to unify men and, and uh, to be able to share our faith along the way too. I came to Rockwell for eight years. I was two years at Odessa Permian. Uh, mm -hmm. was the head coach out there and uh, my son, older son, quarterback for us out there. Good. Guys, i got to tie in this because many of you guys have, uh, have watched the movie uh, and have definitely maybe even seen the series called Friday Night Lights, uh, which is that football movie that talks about the enormity of, of Texas football and it comes to a head there in Odessa Permian and coach was there. And actually, if you watch the movie, there's a clip in there, and Coach was the coach on the field uh, barking those orders. And Coach, uh, I would say I'm a half full guy all the time, always looking, looking, you know, to try to be positive and and make it fun. My dad, I think I learned that from my dad more than anybody that it's supposed to be fun. Did you play for your dad? I did for for. Um, one of the great things about the coaching profession is, uh, you know, just it's a, it's a unique fraternity. It's a great opportunity to build unique relationships. You know, take, you know, you talked about my dad and, and Vukashin coming down. Uh, well, this whole thing, um, you know, I would not have been able to watch, you know, I've watched several of, you know, the games over there in the Balkans uh, through Huddle uh, that, you know, because of relationships that... It's just something that whenever you start thinking about it, you put action to it, man, the sky's the limit. And so for those aspiring to reach the NFL, to reach college football, it, it all starts with your mind. You got to believe that you can do it. And then after you do believe that you can do it, you got to put in the work and, and whatever you believe in, your actions have to match that.